Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Coin Room. In today's episode, we'll be discussing perhaps one of Britain's most recognisable coins, the 1797 one penny and two pence. The coins were issued as a part of an attempt to restore confidence in British currency after years of coin shortages. Therefore, the intrinsic value of the metal on top of the cost of production had to have been made equal to the nominal value of the coin. To match the value, the coins had to be made with a higher copper metal content, making these coins significantly and infamously much heavier and larger than any other circulating coinage drug before or since. Luckily, I was given the chance to film both coins to show you guys. The one penny weighed in at around 28.3 grams, the same weight of the crown, 5 shillings. It also measured 36 millimeters in diameter and used a very similar design to the two pence. The two pence itself weighed in at a massive 56.7 grams, twice that of the penny and twice that of the crown. It measures 41 millimeters in diameter, almost double that of a modern day two pence coin. The coins were the first to be steam power pressed at the Soho Mint in Birmingham. Not only that, but this is also the first time we see Britannia wielding a trident and not a spear. The obverse design shows the Roden Laureate bust of King George III with long draped hair. On the reverse sits Britannia holding an olive branch with a shield lying at her side, and the famous naval ship in the bottom left background. As shown in the comparison of these modern one pence and two pence, these coins definitely hold up quite the size. But these coins quickly grew unpopular because of their sheer size and many were melted down for their metal content. As a result of their size, they picked up the nickname Cartwheels. However, today these coins have become favourites among coin collectors and would make an excellent addition to anyone's collection. Overall, these coins have a lot of firsts under their belts and are definitely incredible British coinage with an amazing history. Thank you for joining me today to learn about these amazing coins. If you enjoyed the video, it would be great if you could leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell me what you thought of today's video and if you have any ideas or future improvements. Thank you very much and see you next time. Goodbye.